Hello everybody, Aquagear here, and welcome back to another episode of Terraria. So yeah, um, you guys probably thought you would never see this uh, series or game ever again, because I actually kind of didn't play it for a couple months. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I don't know, I just kind of fell out of Terraria after my other friends quit playing it, but um, lately I've been interested in playing it again, so yeah. Here's another episode. Hopefully you guys actually enjoy this. I don't know how many of you actually like Terraria. Hopefully a lot of you guys do, though. Um, today, I really don't have a specific goal. But I just kind of want to go adventuring. But not uh, but not underground. I want to go adventuring above ground. Because I know there's a, there's a castle. Like a, a castle with a boss in it over there. Uh, I don't know, maybe I can go collect some loot from there, maybe like a magic book or something, because I know you can get those pretty early on in the castle. Maybe just find something else interesting, so uh, I'm not going to keep you guys waiting with all the boring walking and such. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to skip right forward to the exciting parts. So, <laughs> yeah, once I get something that's worthwhile, uh, I'll come back. So, I'll see you guys in a second. Welcome back everybody. So I traveled all the way west and I actually got to the edge of the ocean. I found a cool swamp biome with many many caves which we will check out later. But uh, I found this guy. Let's see what he has to say. Thanks I guess for saving me or whatever. You'd be a great helper. What's the quest? This means going fetch it and bring it to me. I gotta bring him a fish. Okay. But anyway, I know in the water there is chests with some pretty good stuff. So, I know I'm going to die here, guys. I know I am. But, um, we can use these glow sticks. But, we have to get those chests either way, even if we die. It's a good thing I brought these glow sticks with me. They really do help. Ouch, ouch. Stay away from me, crap. Come on. I need enough breath to get all the way over here. Okay. Oh, I'll look at what the actual loot is later. Is there another chest? Come on. Is there another chest? Okay, I guess there's only one chest for this map. That's fine. So, I guess we'll just wait until we die at this point, really. So, guys, yeah, we're gonna die here. But, I mean, we got the chest. So that's all fine and dandy. Okay. So, I did make it to the edge of one map. I found a swamp biome, so that's good to know. Oh! And a desert. <laughs> I found a cool desert. So, yeah, we'll, we'll be definitely looking at that. But, just... But just from that little hall, and by the way guys, I recorded me walking all the way to the other edge of the map, so you might you might have seen that before here, I'm not sure. Ooh, a shooting star. I should really get that, but I don't know. So let's see, what I get? A trident. I already have a trident, so I, that's, that's crap. I got a couple potions. That's awesome. Shurikens, throwing knives, got a little bit of lead just from walking around. Uh, grenades, water leaf. Yeah, I didn't get anything too good but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna walk to the other side of the map and I'll see you guys there all right hey guys I've been traveling east like I said and I managed to come across this little temple pyramid thingy so let's go and check it out okay seems like we got some loot let's grab all this stuff see what we get all right, that's all fine let's check this chest though that's an important part He's the flying carpet. That seems interesting. We'll check that out in a little bit, though. And let's let's take this chest with us. Why not? Let's throw down a couple more glow sticks to see what's up ahead. Come on, glow sticks. Go further. Okay, nothing. I've heard there's like no, there's not like a boss or anything in here. But still, there could be some good loot in here. Well, there's a cave over there. That scared me for a second. I thought it was like some huge glowing. Yeah, see, I think it just tunnels down until here and then stops. It's kind of like a boring temple, but let's see if there's anything in here, just in case. Nope, it doesn't look like it. All right. Well, guys, I mean that wasn't really too exciting of a <laughs> of a temple or anything, but I mean I guess it's cool. We have we had. We got a hasty flying carpet, which is amazing. I think it can fly and stuff. 
that's awesome. I'll probably equip that, see what it does, and then show you guys maybe in the next jump cut. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to keep going east, try to go until the end of the map. Guys, do you remember the castle I was talking about? Well, this is it. I knew it was going to be somewhere. And by the way, guys, I'm going to note that I'm going to die here. There is, an, there is a really hard boss inside of this um, castle. There, well, this guy is actually a boss. He'll turn into like Skeletron or whatever. I forgot his name. And then there's going, there's a boss down there that almost kills me instantly. But early on, there's some really good loot. So well, let's see what I just get. I thought I, I thought I got some book. Early on in this uh, castle, there's some good magical books. So I do want to go get them. So I'm gonna die. I'll tell you that. I'm going to try to collect as much stuff as I can, like these potions, these books, this kind of thing. Oh, nope. Like, I should really go through this uh, cave, like, super quick. And I should have brought a night vision or some kind of, like, night potion where I could see in the dark. I want to get this mana potion. Really, it's just collect everything until the boss comes and kills you. And the boss comes out of nowhere also. That's the scariest part. Okay. See, I have no idea when he's gonna pop up either. So for all you know, for all, oh, for all we know, he could pop up any second. Oh, there he is. Okay, there he is, and I'm dead. Oh, that scared me. That honestly kind of scared me. So we're dead. But let's see if we got any book. Maybe we had some luck. Come on. Did we get any books? Okay, we have a book. This is a book. 20 magical damage, 8 critical strike, very fast, uses 10 mana. Okay, you know what? I like that. It has negative 10% knockback, but I don't need knockback. 18% damage. Okay. I can handle this. Alright, sorry about that, guys. I actually had to go for almost, I think, either 3 or 4 hours, actually. But now I'm back, and... Before I had to go, uh, I was going to say that we did actually get a book. This is what I wanted from that castle. We got a few other things like um, <clears throat> Hasty Flying Carpet. I think I could use that. Uh, I know I could probably use this. And 14 stars, I could craft those into these, which is cool. So we'll do that in a little bit. But yeah, this book is actually really, really strong. It says 20 damage. This is only 11. And this this is only 11 damage, and it's already on 10%. And it has 10% knockback. And I don't want knockback, so this is perfect. It doesn't have knockback. It has 18% more damage. Um, very, very fast, and 8% critical strike. So this is actually a perfect book. I probably wouldn't want to, like, re-enchant that. And we got almost 500 rope. Wow, I didn't know we collected that much. Um, what is this? Yeah, I don't think I would probably want that on. Let's see what the flying carpet does. I'll replace my Hermes boots just for now. Let's see what this does. How, how long can we fly for? Can we fly forever? Okay, no, but... Okay, that's pretty good. So we can jump and keep flying like that. Okay, that's actually really nice. So we can jump... So that's, that's like a triple jump, I think. So we can jump, jump, and then carpet. That's actually really good. You know what? I'm tempted to not have the Hermes on anymore and just keep this. I mean, things like that. We can, like, jump over lakes and stuff. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to keep that on. Or actually... Okay, we have to pick out something... I might get rid of the lava charm. For now, I'll get rid of the lava charm. Just, just for now. I'm gonna put it on like when we do, when we need it, when we're near lava. But for now, I think we'll be fine. But guys, uh, what I'm gonna do is put all my stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa! Not yeah, deposit. All right, perfect, perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back all the way to that castle. I'm gonna keep going past the castle so we can see what's after that. So I'll see you guys in a second. 
Alright everybody, so we are at the other end of the world, surprisingly. So, um, I'm gonna do what I did last time. I'm gonna fly all the way to, like, the end of the ocean and grab the chest. But, right now, I'm gonna have a different strategy this time. Because I have a couple different items that I didn't have before. So, as you can see, this book, if we shot a beam, it actually makes light. So, we'll be able to have a little bit more light as we go down. Also, we have the flying carpet, which we can fly straight. Uh, so... I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do that and kind of just fly straight all the way to where the chests should be and then use the book as light also I only have three glow sticks so hopefully that will be fine but also after we do this and I die from obviously drowning I want to show you guys a couple things back at um, my house and then we're gonna have to end off the episode sadly so uh, really quick let's go so let's maybe shoot a couple beams I think we could stop here maybe throw a glow and my hot bar just uh, popped up it's okay so oh okay there's a chest right here let's grab it real quick loot I don't think there's anything good in there let's actually grab it though okay, let's see if there's anything else over here is there anything else okay no it doesn't look like it I mean I guess we're gonna drown there's really I don't think there's a way to get back up I don't think I'm gonna have enough time I mean I could drink health potion and do my best but I don't think I mean if we can make it I would like to yeah I don't oh we're so close we're so close oh we actually made it we didn't have to we didn't have to die well that's fine anyway guys uh, I'll meet you guys back at base uh, and I'll show you guys a couple things and then we're gonna have to end off the episode so I'll see you guys in a minute well guys I only have a couple more things to say and um, I actually figured out a pretty cool combo with uh, the flying carpet and the umbrella. So as you can see, if we jump up and use the flying carpet, in a couple seconds I will fall. So we're just going to wait a second, and it'll fall. And if I'm above something very high, that means I'll probably die. So yes, I can fly, but I probably will die. But now I figured out that if you actually just hold the umbrella, we can fly, and when it stops, we can just glide down. So I think that's a pretty cool combo that I can use uh, when flying so I don't die or fall into a large cave. Because it has happened before where I just fall into a huge cave. <laughs> so that'll help a lot. And also guys, next episode, I'm going to want to collect more of these falling stars. Because with this new book, this is going to be my main weapon. I'm probably going to get rid of this trident because I don't need it. This is going to be my main weapon. But I'm going to need a lot of mana as you can see on the side here with the blue stars. So for that, I'm going to need a lot of um, a lot of fallen stars, if that's what they're called. Yep. So I'm going to collect a lot of those next episode. So yeah, you're right. We have to end it off this episode. Uh, let's see, deposit all. Yeah, so we're going to have to quit for this episode. I think we've done enough exploring. We went to each edge of the map, which is amazing. Went through two small dungeons. Well, they're not small dungeons, but we went through a small portion of the dungeons. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This is Malako here. Make sure to leave a like and a comment as a sportsman channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.